That's it, Mickey. PK Ripper time. Lovely, that is, mate. 30 years of radness. Did you have one of these when you was a lad? Oh, I did. I used to go to the uh, chip van on it. Did you? Yeah. Did you have chip vans up there in them days? Fish and chip vans. What, up north? Yeah. Smelt lovely. Did they? Best smelling fish and chip van in England. It won an award. Did it? Yeah. What for the best smelliest? The best smelling fish and chip van in England. Yeah. What did you have when you went? Oh, fish and chips. Oh, yeah. yeah. They yeah. didn't do nothing else. Well, they did do quite a lot of other things Don't as well. You have, but um, it... fried Mars, Mars bars. bars. Yeah, but not back in the day. What you couldn't afford Mars bars? No, no, no. It was all about a Freddo, and they just didn't fry fried Freddo. Freddo. Fried, fried Freddo. Fried. They scream. Yeah. And they're pop. Not, they're not good. Frogs ones. pop when they're when they're in deep fat f oil deep fat oil deep fat oil <laughs> so it's friday the boys are just getting ready to go racing sam and graves are on the roof trying to stop the trying to stop the water leak that we've got so we've pulled pulled out the old sealer that was fitted because that that didn't work and uh graves has been and got some sticky stripping to put up there so the boys are doing that Sam's been here uh, getting the car ready in graves in the week so I think they've got that loaded up yeah they have so it's a case of toolboxes and bits like that and then they're ready to go what are you doing Sam trying to seal roof can't seal roof so this is it this is um, Friday leaving to go to Snetterton uh, it's the fourth race of the uh of for my season uh albeit one of them was shocking so hopefully have a better weekend massive thanks to the whole team again for getting everything ready while i've been doing some work um so yeah i'll get as much footage as i can i expect robbie will long journey to snetterton now yeah. snetterton time <laughs> Woo! Woo! i can't believe you lot have got hot dogs well, couldn't miss out, could we? <laughs> Why are you on the hot dogs? Oh yeah. It should be salad. Come up, go for you. <laughs> I'm having salad. What are you eating, Chub? Salad. Chub. Yeah. Hey, what are you eating, James? I'm having salad. Oh, it looks like that. <laughs> so we've just come out of Costco with an £8.95 pizza and it is <laughs> banging. All other well-known brands need to step the game up. Uh. <laughs> Three hours later. Oh. What are you doing, mate? I guess it's all there. Go on then. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so it's half past seven in the morning. Um, a load of cars have been called up to the scrutineering bay, mine being one of them. Winkles is in there being checked at the moment. Some of the classic touring cars are here. Me and Big Tim are up. This is the second fittest pickup truck driver. We are athletes. We are athletes. <laughs> Someone has come up to James saying the car can't run. What's going on then, James? Uh, another race uh, when we went up to Scrutineering Bay. Uh, I noticed that he couldn't get it to start, so we put our car back in and I just thought I'd run back up and see if he wanted, wanted us to help him. So he gave his engine builder a call and he said that it was okay just to help him with the plugs and everything. So that's what we're doing now. We're just, uh, do you want to just film that? <laughs> just so you can see that it ain't us. It's all loose. Sam, there's not So this week came at Snetterton, and this is the setup. Sam's getting everything ready. Old big guns. Yeah. What do you think? What's the outcome is this weekend in Sammy Boy? We stand out the gravel this weekend? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Makes a mess. James and the lads are still trying to fix this car over it. Taking the fuel tank apart now to make sure it's getting fuel. Yeah, what was the root of the problem? Went out of fuel. <laughs> cool. After changing what? 
the spark plugs three times and it was the fuel. Simple fix, eh? That <laughs> so it's me and Kobe doing a little interview. Well, Kobe's doing the interview, isn't you, mate? Yep. Who are you interviewing? Um, David Davis goes for Michael Smith. Hey, awesome. Well, there you go. That's recording now. So you're going to do your work. Yeah. You got to point the camera at him. Yeah. So I'm just going out of James' this bus, going into the owner, and he's James Costa. Hello, mate. Hello. What are you doing? Doing a vlog. What do you want to ask me? What do you think you're starting on qualifying today? What what position? I'd like to get number one, but I will probably get in the middle somewhere. Like like ninth or eighth, because ninth or eighth are in the middle. Aren't they? Ninth or tenth, something like that. I think that's where I will, but I'd like to get number one. Aye. Beat your dad, Michael. This is the wheel on the shop. These are the wheels. These are the buttons. Hello, Norma. You want to read my vlog? What's your mate? What's that? My vlog. Your vlog? Vlog. What's that mean? Um, I'm doing a video. What? Can I be on it? You know what this is, though, don't you? This is, what was, it? What was this? Fat Ronaldo. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is Fat Ronaldo. The only one. Know. I just signed for United. Manchester United? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. back yeah. into your own kingdom. And this is James Goldstraw's car, this is the engine. And now I'm going in um, James Goldstraw's bus. Yeah, so this is Robbie. Hello. <laughs> and there's Robbie. Yeah, it's me doing some paperwork. What are you doing? Um, you gonna help me do all this washing up? You gonna share with the washing up? We gotta do it together. There you go. You gonna help me with that, are you? Yeah, I am. You gonna, oh, are you? I'll give you a chocolate biscuit if you help me out with the washing up. You can do the drying, yeah? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna join. You're gonna join? And there's the dishes. There's the dishes. There's sexy mummy. <laughs> sexy mummy? <laughs> yeah. So it's Saturday, the day of qualifying. We're going out for qualifying this afternoon. So we have a bit of time, a little bit of time to get ready and all that. And he's, and he's going to go for us. Alright mate, you've been busy. Yeah, I've been busy doing some work. Basically what's happened now, this car's come up to us last minute, needed to get some bits done. And James and all the boys have got it absolutely smashed out ready for the race. What have we had to do James? Um, just had to find a bolt on his fire extinguisher, get it sorted for scrutineering, but it's all good now. So you've helped out on this one before. Also James has built the engine for this one as well. All for the driver's meeting. There's our pick crew. <laughs> James is in front seat, living the dream, ain't you James? Fantastic bit of driving here as well. It's chicanes for people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm here. Peppermint's here. <laughs> meeting and uh, the new rule is you have to practice get out of your car within 10 seconds how do you think you're gonna get on then James <laughs> he's not so confident at the moment I reckon he said 10 days <laughs> 10 minutes oh. you'll get a door we'll put a door on for him as well oh, yeah everything's gotta be on it's gotta be a legit practice just the time. Yeah, we've got the time on the go. I reckon six minutes, 20 seconds. That's the, that's the first person who's given us the time. What do you reckon? Six, uh, point, six minutes, 
Six minutes as well. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Coaching up six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds, nine. Now you fail, fail, fail. You failed. You failed. You, well, you basically your first foot got down at ten seconds, and by the time you know, no, both feet have got to be on the floor. That's a fail. And you need a new door. <laughs> and you need a new door now. <laughs> Just out. Ten are we going for another practice on that? Are we? One more practice, see if you can do it. One more go, come on. Right, hey Sam, we have one more go at it. It's hard to do it. You meant 10 minutes. So, so James, you've got two feet on the actual floor at 12.8. So you've got to shave 2.8 off. Oh, no swearing, young man. <laughs> you reckon he's going to do it this time? Yeah? But try and throw your jaw behind the car so you don't jump on it. Right, are we ready? Steady, go. <laughs> No, 10 seconds up. 10 seconds is up. <laughs> right, so this is what we're going to do now. He can't, he hasn't got, you haven't got time to do the door. Yes, you can. He hasn't got, he hasn't got, yeah. he hasn't got time to take this door off. He needs to work out how he can jump out with the car. I can get in now without the door. Yeah, he needs to take these the door on and go. Yeah. Stand on the seat. Stand on the seat. Yeah. Well, jet, put an ejector seat in it next time. Straight through the roof. <laughs> but you're trying not to take, try not to take the door off now. Oh. Right, we've got time. We're only get time back out. You got it, Sam? <laughs> Probably. Right, reset. Right, are we ready? Ready, steady, go! Come on, James. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're at 10 seconds. <laughs> you're going to break the door. You're going to snap the door. <laughs> what? Car's disintegrated by now. James is dead. Unfortunately, he's <laughs> bent to a crisp. Get it before your mum does. Right, here's James. Little boys are just getting ready for uh, qualifying. Main man stands back in the room. Just doing a radio check. Of course, I can hear you. James gives a little wave. Checking the wheel nuts and the truck, make sure they're tight enough. Doing all the torque settings. Sam, give us a smile. Hey, hey. Sam's checking his radio. You switched on, Sam? You switched on the radio? Can you hear me, Sam? Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. You were ready for the race? Sam's doing tire pressure check, letting the pressures out. And Michael Smith ready to go. Michael Smith, see you, see you later. <laughs> Good to go, James. Go on, then. Let's go. To be fair, no one's looking at me. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right there. All the boys are 
pretty much ready to go for qualifying. Top race out of the ball. Here's the main man. on the go. session in the boys camp Bushes, and if you have a little minor de details, the top mechanics over there will get on and fix it. So, we're going to be interviewing James Ghost Show after qualifying. James, how was qualifying? It was quite good. I think we finished in the middle of the pack for both races. The car pushed a little bit and was suffering with wheel spin out the tight bends, but we got to the end and didn't come off. Did you watch me? Um, yes I did. Do you think you could do better? I think I could do a little bit better, yeah. I think the car could handle a little bit better and I could do better. Okay. But because I'm fat, because I'm fat, I can't, I can't be as quick. First one, I think you're starting at 11th. 11th? Yeah, uh, uh, or 10th or 9th. Oh, 9th would be lovely. You know what, what did you I said, James, what, what did you... You, you said where you're going to end, and you bang on where you've ended. You said it before the race. Well, you need to say that I'm going to end up number one or number two, yeah. or number three, because I want a trophy. I'm going to guess number three. Hopefully, three would be good. I'll take a three. I'll take number three. Okay, so James is still talking. <laughs> <laughs> right, rundown of qualifying uh, the cars come off in one piece but dusty um, the car is pushing slightly as the laps went on we got a little bit too much camber in the wheels and the diff poundage is is a little bit low at the moment it's it's reading in a, a 27 foot pound so uh, I've messaged Bernie about that who built my diff to see if I can um, 
sort that out quite easy. If not, we're going to try and adjust the car around around the diff. Uh, setup wise, still really happy with the car. JB did a fantastic job of that. Um, Steve's been giving me a little bit of advice on some of the bends, so has Dean Tompkins. So, Dean was not even going on. I know, Dean uh, had broke his diff. Dean broke his diff. Um, so, Sam's gonna alter the car to try and get it to go around a bit better. I think he's probably gonna ring, pardon me, I think he's probably gonna ring Jamie to have a, a chat with him about setup. He's already had a little chat with steer about it so i'll just leave the car to them but the car's come off in one piece let me and kobe go and show you we've got no damage the robster's cooking <laughs> we need food so the front of the car is pretty dusty but engine wise it's still still okay um, sam's looking at the diff at the moment um, And here's Robbie. How are we doing? <laughs> Chef's in the room. What do you think? You're going to help me cook? Uh, I'm going to help uh, Robbie cook. Are well, you going to help me cook, are you? Yeah, Come on then, we're going to get involved. Waggy burgers. Waggy burgers. <laughs> waggy burgers, yes, waggy. <laughs> Happy days. Sausages. And rip open. Good man. And then you start from this side. I said, we get our fur out. Start from this side, just pick it up. Hey, you clean your hands yet? You got clean now, I don't think they're very clean. We need to wash your hands first. Ready? Oh, oh. oh. get it, your head. That's how I checked it, yeah, it was all cold. Give it a nice scrub, scrub your hands properly. There we go. Right, then we got blue towel. Give him a little dry. Bosh, we're there then, aren't we? We can start cooking now, can't we? Yeah, it was all right, I think. We need to go a little bit quicker next time. Yeah, you got four, not bad. Yeah, not bad. We just need to improve in the certain places. Yeah, you do. Yeah. How do you think qualifying went? Um, pretty good, because you started in pole, didn't you? Uh, no. You, were... you did, because you got into the lead of the first lap. Oh, right, on the... oh, in front of the cars, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. In front of the field? Yeah. And it is possible. And anything else you need to know? Um, yard and get this film started. Why did you even slow down, Mum? I just had to cool my tires a little bit. Because you were too hot? Yeah. Oh, too hot. Die. Is that the interview over? Yep. Yeah. If he wins tomorrow, he's got to do a roly poly. If I get third tomorrow, I'll do a roly poly and a backflip. A roly poly and a backflip? Yeah, all in one. By accident. When do I ever get fourth? Oh, then, then, then I'll still be very happy, but there's you no like... stunts. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to interview. Stephen, <laughs> Stephen, I want some questions. You got some questions, okay? Hello. So, yeah. How? What was it like in qualifying? It was really quite hot, actually. It was quite mad because I had a bit of a problem with David's. He lost his uh, bumper is where his lambda sensor goes. Yeah. So what I had to do was I thought I had a spare one with me. Um, you did. No. So what I did was I had to come. What I did, I had to come back to the awning. So I had to come back to the awning and then what I did, I put a, I found a spark plug, a spark plug, certain size spark plug fix. So I just put, I had an old one of them, so I put that in. So that fixed the problem, that's why he went back out. So yeah, uh, his transponder wasn't working, which I found out, out when I climbed in, I must have knocked it with my arm and turned the transponder off. So yeah. And then he came back in and do it, uh, turned it back on? Yep, and I turned it back on, yeah. And then he went back up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thanks for the interview. No problem. Thanks. Thanks a lot. And here's David O'Regan, right here. Yeah. Hey, yeah. How was Uh, Could have been better. Because you got I'm seventh, did you? Did I get seventh? Is that what it is? I can't remember. I don't know. What? And there's David's dad, John. And who am I? I am David Stack. Yeah, is that right? Are you recording this stuff? I and mean, who are you going to show this to? And who are you going to show it to? You're going to show it to everybody. Oh my God. And you're the best. You're the best.
Uh, so Joey with the Sierra had a bit of an off in his first race, so we're just trying to get it fixed for him. He's had an oil cooler off Michael, A1, so we're just going to now cable tie the rest of it together. My old, my old best is here, happy as ever. I have a new fuel for the first problem, then finally getting it going. Fire extinguisher problem. Now the, all the boys are working on it hours later, unfortunately at the tyres, and now the car is back together, all ready for tomorrow's race. Happy bloody days. Let's go, go racing. <laughs> and now he's just chatting with the geezer who owns the car. Never met him before. What a gent, eh? James Goldstraw. That's uh, left over now, making it airtight, bit of streamline going on. James is filling that gap. Yeah, we're gonna be there watching now. Oh mate, it's yeah, getting worse now. Wanna it, see the foot in, haven't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just gone seven o'clock in the morning. I've just come in to check on the pickup, ready for today's race. In the first race is 10:20. Sam, I was fixing the uh, the Sierra, the bodywork on the Sierra last night, so Sam was doing the pickup for me and uh, Robbie, James, and Tim. So I think it's all ready now for the racing today. It's an early start, so I'm going to get ready in a moment, put my overalls on and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to clean the interior up because the dust on the dash does me head in when I'm sat waiting to go out. But yeah, we'll see what today brings. I might even try and wear the camera on my crash helmet if I've got an attachment. We'll see.
Oh, what a day. Brand new. Oh, damn, look. Look, big ginge look. So, um, so I've got to finish the vlog back at the uh, at the workshop. Uh, this is now Tuesday. Sam's washing the car, washing all the racing dirt off it from the weekend. Unfortunately, the GoPro got dropped, but it fell off the bonnet of my pickup before the racing. So, um, the footage that we've got isn't isn't brilliant. Uh, I didn't explain what happened in the races because I had no camera to do it with. Um, I did use some of the in-car footage from the racing so I think Tracy might have um, added some of that to the the vlog. Um, but the rundown of the racing, uh, race one, uh, I had a bit of a rubbish start. Uh, I saw a load of cars starting to um, to back up and tyre smoke so I had an inkling something was going to um, happen, an accident or, or something so I was a bit ginger on the start which um, didn't really pay off. A friend of mine that race is Paul Jones, he spun in front of me and I clipped his back end with my front end uh, and then some fibreglass went into my tyre so that burst the the uh, the rear tyre behind me, so the car was really um, suffering with a lot of oversteering, right hand bends, so I radioed in, uh, I come into the pits, uh, the boys swapped the tyre over, they taped all the front up to get me back out, did, a, did an amazing job, got back out, um, but the damage is done then, I finished I think I finished 16th or something like that um, out of 20, 21 or 22. The car was faultless really after that, but by that time, by the, 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 the length of time I was in the pits for having a tyre changed and the um, and the damage fixed, it's that, that race is spent, it's no good, it's done. So um, one thing I was suffering with was the inside wheel was wheel spinning where the diff has lost a bit of poundage. Um, so I spoke to Bernie and he gave me some ideas to, to try and um, get round that without actually having the diff apart. Oh no, that happened in qualifying actually. We changed it for the race, uh, but it was still suffering with the inside wheel. Then uh, in the second race, the, the first race was like a, a quarter to 11, the second race was quarter to 5 or 20 to 5, so there was such a big gap. It was declared a wet, a wet race. The only wet tyres I had was two brand new tyres, but they were two years old, maybe three years old from the last time I was out in the car. So yeah, they was brand new, but there wasn't like a brand new set for um, grip and things. And then the other two tyres that I had was I think we worked it out that they was five or six years old. The boys did a wicked job with the car. That was all ready to go. We put the new tyres on the front and we put the second hand... Let me just tighten this clamp up. There we go. And we put the second hand tyres on the rear, um, on the outlap, so straight away we did two green flag laps following the pace car and on the out lap I could feel that in a right hand bend the back end was just sliding so even on the out lap I was struggling to to even keep up with the cars at that speed um, the race started and straight away the car was just sidewards so bad it was, it was barely controllable I stayed out because I thought maybe it's just a heat thing and once they get hot they might they might get better um, but after lap two, the car developed a uh, a pretty big misfire, and I looked down at the voltmeter, and it was reading 12 volt. Well, normally the car's around 14 volt because of the alternator charging. Um, so I knew straight away the problem. Uh, we've had it a few times where the little small exciter wire for the the uh, the alternator 
it um, it breaks, the terminal breaks or something like that. I think it's the vibration that does it. And um, yeah, so I come into I radioed and said I'm coming into the pits straight away. Uh, Sam and the rest of the team. Uh, Robbie was keeping me informed. James uh, was fixing it and Tim was fixing it. Um, Paul Exon was under the bonnet I noticed as well for helping fix it so I had everyone on the car to try and get me ready to go back out. I radioed to Robbie to, to get the boys to change the tyres from the front to the back. Um, so I think Paul and Sam was fixing the alternator and then Tim and James was swapping the tyres over. That cost me I think about two laps. Uh, I got straight back out uh, to finish the race and it was awesome. I didn't I didn't really have a race with anybody. Uh there was a few cars about which we uh, which we you know raced against but I was a couple of laps down but seat time I think that's my only my second race at Snetterton so seat time it was in, invaluable uh and it was totally enjoyable in the wet. So um come off um still really happy great weekend spent a uh, good time with like-minded people um David O'Regan's family or David Comeback Racing uh, who, who parks with Michael as well so it was good to spend time with sort of see him again and his family his dad's his dad's a legend so that was all good and and the rest of the the racing uh, family uh, it was all good um, very enjoyable long drive home from Snetterton um, so Sam's outside now just jet washing the car ready for um, well, Pembury, we think. I mean, I wasn't planning on doing Pembury. I was going to just try and get out for the last race, race which is Brands Hatch. Um, but the whole team want to do Pembury, so we'll see. We'll see what works like. We'll see what money's like, and uh, if everything goes according to plan, then we might we might get there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It's another racing vlog. There is uh, Tracy's got a, a work vlog ready from um, last week and the week before. So I think we'll probably try and get that up Wednesday night, but we're going to do the Snetterton vlog first. Um, I hope you enjoy Kobe in it because he's a little legend and did loads of filming. Uh, just another big shout out to all my race team, uh, Sam, Tim, James, Robbie. I really couldn't do it without them guys. They go above and beyond their, their um, call to, to keep me racing. Um, Bob especially as well, he helps no end with tyres and keeping the car on the track so I just want to um, say thank you to all them guys uh, and especially Robbie for feeding us, if uh, if it wasn't for Robbie we probably wouldn't eat all weekend um, but no he, he's bit, he was cooking curries and burgers and everything so um, thanks to all my team, thanks to everybody watching, uh, thanks to all the subscribers, if you haven't subscribed yet if you could please subscribe um, if the people that have subscribed and are watching it could share the video that would be great and um, could you leave the word pick up um, in the comments below if you've uh, if you've made it to the end cheers guys